This is Coyote News. Following recent reports of sexual assaults, students might be wondering what happens with those reports that are made. Coyote News' Carter Linke is live in the muck to hear how the university responds to reports. Carter? Thank you, Caitlin. I'm here with Jean Merkel to talk about the recent reports of sexual assault here on campus. Jean, what steps happen once a student reports a sexual assault here on campus? So the student would come potentially into my office and we would have a conversation. I would explain to them there's really one of three options that could happen. Um, I always promise to be a good listener, take information first, and then kind of decide the best course of action. Um, but if they're interested in uh, proceeding with resolution of any kind, there's a Board of Regents policy that we can have, um, or I've got a copy of, and, and we can have them fill out the form and start that process. So. In what ways are there for your office to support victims? We do a lot of things as far as accommodations. Sometimes they are um, excused absences, um, whether it be from a class or work, et cetera. Sometimes it's making housing adjustments. If they want to be on a different floor than the other person. And um, sometimes it's just helping them find a good counselor and making sure they're getting the support they need. And how is USD or your office responding to the increased number of sexual assaults? That's a great question. I think the spring has surprised us, um, but we are glad people are coming forward and getting help. Um, and so we really just want to make sure that they understand we're seen as a resource support as much as we are kind of a resolution support option. Um, and so we are wanting to do more as far as like training and education. Uh, we have April coming up, it's prevention month. And so, yeah, just doing more education. And what is some, some advice that you might give to somebody that's on the fence about reporting to your office? I would say, number one, um, please know that we're a safe space. Um, we want to make sure that we respect the person who comes in. And if they want to come in and just vent and have nothing happen, that is an option. Um, and if they want more, we can help them with more. But don't be afraid. I'm a nice person. So come on in and we'll help you if we can. Thank you for joining us today, Jean. Live from the muck for Coyote News, I'm Carter Linke. Thanks, Carter. As we heard, the silent witness form is available on the university website.